And the Mustang says to the Explorer, hey, did you do the homework? And the Explorer's like, oh, there was homework? Oh crap, let me copy off of yours. And the Mustang, being a cool guy, is just like, yeah, sure, just don't make it obvious. <laughs> I got a spicy meatball for you guys today. Oh boy. Hi everyone, I'm Manny Marvelous. Welcome to the Manny Marvelous YouTube channel. I have some news for you. Ford made an electric vehicle. It's supposed to be unveiled very soon, but it won't be available to purchase until probably uh, late 2020. At least that's what I read from the website that got deleted. Ford may have purposefully leaked their new car. This new car is something that a lot of us are familiar with. Let's just take it slowly, step by step. What is Ford to the auto industry? The Focus, crossovers, stupid cop cars, and my truck, the V8 motor, and the Mustang that makes even non-car enthusiasts happy to see. Well, they messed it up. They messed up the Mustang. See, way back in the day, they had this Mustang called the Mach 1. The Mach 1 was like one of the cool Mustangs. Every Mustang was cool, but this one was like extra cool because it's the Mach 1. Well, Ford made another Mach Mustang and uh, it's a fucking crossover. Yep, Ford made a Mustang crossover and it's electric. Yep, kill me now. So they named it the Mach-E, and I think that they're actually mocking the Model 3. Ford actually sued Tesla because they weren't supposed to call it the Model E. Because Tesla wanted to call the Model 3 the Model E to begin with. That wouldn't have been okay because then the Tesla would have had the Model S, the Model E, and the Model X. And if you spell those three letters out, you... you... So they named it the Mach-E, mocking Tesla. And it's supposed to be the grand competitor to the Model Y that Tesla's supposed to be coming out with very soon. Yeah, it's just ugly. Just. Look at this thing. What is this? This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I, it's like, what were they thinking? Like, just let's recollect for a second here. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, okay? We don't need any basement trolls coming out and attacking us for having electric crossover Mustangs. Or maybe we do. If this isn't the sign of the second coming, I don't know what is. I wrote some of this down because I, I'm still in shock from what I just saw. Okay, you wanna see it again? Here it is. <sighs> what is that? What is this abomination? It looks like a knuckle-dragging ape. I don't know what to say anymore. They gave the donkey food. They overfed it. Now it's the chonky. Specs, okay? We're not supposed to know this stuff, but I went out and found it for you guys just so that you can all indulge, because we all like to indulge, like I said in my last video. And by the way, in that SEMA video, I did mention how car guys don't want to ruin the world. We do want things to move forward. It's true. So an electric Mustang, I'm kind of all for it. All right, let's just get through this. Most of the models are gonna be within the five and a half to six and a half second range of zero to 60. For a Mustang, that's pretty crappy. Five and a half is like just around that frame where normal people are like, oh, this thing has got some pep to it, eh? Your Minnesotan aunt is gonna think that your Mustang chonky whatever basement troll electric drive balloon fed animal is somewhat peppy. It's still ugly. My mind is blown. All right, let's go down the models here. It does come in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. The Select, which is a 43 and a half, no, $44,000 model. It comes in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. There are options. Five and a half seconds, zero to 60. Wow, 270 miles to the charge. At least the interior is kind of cool. I mean, you get a, a TV in the center console. We used to do that stuff in the 90s too with old Lincolns. And I hope they don't make Matthew McConaughey make a commercial of this. That's definitely not all right, all right, all right. Next model, the premium, $51,000. Rear wheel drive or all wheel drive again, 270 miles to the charge. Same thing as the Select, just a couple more trim, you know, inside, outside, just gonna be a little bit prettier. The first edition is almost $60,000. And I'm guessing it's like their launch car, slightly faster. There's gonna be a limited quantity of them. I guess it's like their exclusive car. If you're gonna buy one of these for a collection, which I really, I can't see why you would. You know, if you have money for that stuff, go and do a buyout of a bunch of 03 Porsche 911s, you know, the, the cheap, like $11,000 ones. Go buy them out now because those are gonna go up in price. Don't buy this and don't buy the first edition because it's gonna have a slew of problems, I know it. Yeah, that's just what happens. When, whenever Ford makes a new car, 
it has problems, except for the Flex. Ah, oh, I love the Flex. The GT model, allegedly, allegedly, has a three second zero to 60. This is a four and a half thousand pound car. It's full of batteries and it's huge. It's fat. Look at this car. It's fat. It's huge. Sixty and a half thousand dollars. If not sixty-five grand, sixty point five. That's what they wrote for the MSRP, allegedly. What I think, it's probably gonna go for about seventy-two off the lot at a dealership. Seventy-two grand, you're gonna be out, and you're gonna have a fat, tall, ugly, bloated, fast <laughs> SUV that. <laughs> Stole, stole the homework for the Mustang. So it's like the Explorer and the and the Mach 1 Mustang go to the same class, right? And the Mustang says to the Explorer, hey, did you do the homework? And the Explorer's like, oh, there was homework? Oh crap, let me copy off of yours. And the Mustang being a cool guy is just like, yeah, sure, just don't make it obvious. <laughs> and then he made it obvious, wow. So the GT is gonna have a 230 mile range. Not that you care, cause you're probably not gonna drive it. There is one more model, don't worry, there's more models. California Route 1, $53,000 car. It's rear wheel drive only. It gets 300 miles to the charge. They're marketing it as like the cruising model because it can go further. I'm looking at it as the model that can hopefully do a burnout. If this car can do a brake stand, I, I guess it's kind of cool. I mean, look, electric vehicles, they're cool. They do make a lot of torque. They make a lot of power. As you can see, same chassis car, the GT model is twice as fast on paper, allegedly. Someone can make something cool out of these cars, but I think it's gonna be like the A90 Supra that just came out. You know, people think it's an ugly car. I, I'm indifferent to it. I think it does look like a Z4, sorry. It, it looks like what it literally is, which is a, a BMW Z car, but it's not that ugly. I mean, even the Z cars are kind of cool looking. I guess, you know, for convertible. If, if you like convertibles, you, they look kind of cool. This does not look cool. This doesn't look good. It's not handsome. Looks bad. Looks really bad. Look, the reason it's ugly is mainly because of the front fascia and the fact that it still has like the Mustang front arches in an SUV's body. It's like they just took something nice and made it into a turd. Like you can have the Mustang have sex with an Escort, or no, not an Escort. What, what do they call that giant one that the cops drive? You can have a Mustang have sex with an Explorer, but what's gonna come out isn't a prettier Explorer. What comes out is an uglier Mustang. It, it just doesn't work. Don't do this. Why are you doing this, Ford? I know why they're doing it. Here, and here's the real reason why they're doing it. Most of the market, from a business aspect, most of the market is crossovers now. Moms want crossovers. Even dads want crossovers. People that are driving to work and they want to drive something big and safe because this is America. Everyone wants big and safe. Bigger isn't always safer. Get that out of your head. Most of the market is crossovers. We've been seeing it for the last 10 years almost. It started back in 2012 and this is what it's becoming now. It's coming down to the point where our most beloved staple cars in the United States are becoming crossovers. Look what happened to the Mitsubishi Eclipse. The Mitsubishi Eclipse isn't an Eclipse anymore. You know, it used to be the first car that we saw in the Fast and the Furious. Now it's an SUV. That's continuously variable transmission and slow and ugly and it makes you want to rip every single one of your hairs out individually, one at a time. <sighs> My mind is blown. Ford, I'm disappointed, but they did take the website down, so maybe they're trying to do updates. Maybe they're just waiting so that people like me don't have everything at our hands to make content with. But I know you guys are gonna miss something and I'm gonna miss something too. So on that bombshell, stay marvelous everyone. That was all I had for you today. And hopefully this is all Ford has for this market. But it'll be available if you really want to buy one around October 2020, allegedly. This is just, Ford dropped the hammer, guys. They dropped the hammer. Stay marvelous.